Hey tubers, it's Ben again from The Curious Consumer, just coming back at you. I figured uh, in honor of Gears of War week this week, I would do a quick unboxing of the Power A component kit for the uh, Xbox One Elite controllers. Um, now, as you can see here, I have the old, uh, the good old Elite, the original, um, has the directional pad. You could always replace that with the platter. You get the thumbsticks, and these are, again, removable by magnet. Uh, now, uh, they did have another component kit a while back, the, the uh, Power A, and I actually uh, put that on my day one Elite controller. Um, where it has like Master Chief's helmet in the middle. They had another one that said UNSC on it. Um, these are the thumb pads. They're a little bit different um, than the traditional Xbox uh, One Elite thumb uh, sticks. They're just about as grippy, maybe a little bit rounder, um, nicer, you know, a nice plastic or rubbery feel to it. Um, as opposed to these, which were actually, there's no seam in here, which is a uh, really nice feature of that. Uh, it also came with these um, triggers on the back for the back bumpers, um, magnetic, uh, obviously, but in a color scheme of the gray uh, or kind of like a space gray uh, and, a, and a blue or like a, like a royal blue. Um, Today, I figured I would open the Gears of War one with you guys and take a look at that one. Um, so let's uh, let's bust this bad boy open. Um, seeing as Gears of War came out this week, I saw this and I was like, eh, this is a pretty cool deal. Uh, I mean, if you're into it, if you're a collector, um, I, I like to make my controllers look pretty cool. Um, so I figured it would be a great opportunity uh, for me to take a look at it. It is kind of on the expensive side, however. This is a, a $29 kit. Uh, I bought this one here at Best Buy. Um, if you have uh, reward zone points or anything like that, definitely use it. I had a gift card there, or not a gift card, a, a reward zone points card that I could use. Uh, so I picked this up. I got it for about nine bucks. Um, so let's just take this cover off because it is kind of reflective. And uh, let's take a look inside and see what we got. All right. So as you can see here, they do uh, replace the four uh, thumbsticks. You have two of the regular ones, um, the regular size thumbsticks, which would be about the same size as what you have on a regular Xbox One controller. You have the raised thumbstick here as well, and that has the um, concaved button design. Um, and then you have the convexed one here where you can see it's got that little rounded top. Um, and these are for, you know, let's say the, uh, the the better aiming, more accurate aiming. Again, you have your um, back bumpers here in red and gray. You also have your Gears of War crosshair and the cool crosshair platter. So let's put these onto the controller and see how uh, sexy it makes it look. I think it's going to be cool because I like the color difference difference here. So I'm just going to take some of these uh, some of these buttons off. And they're very easy to get off and put back on. Um, all you basically do is take that little clip here and you just put it inside the hole here and just let it fall back into place. Oh, I could say I like it already. I like the red contrast against the black and gray. Definitely cool. I figured I'd do a quick unboxing for you guys today uh, because when I saw this and I looked it up and everything like that, it looked really awesome. Um, mainly because, and this is going to sound kind of crazy, but I just really like the fact that those little extra touches that Power A put into their into their thumb pad here, uh, you see there it is, the Gears of War cog, right in the center of the thumb pad. I really like that. I think that's pretty neat. So let me just take these other thumb pads out, and let me put these cog thumb pads into place, which I think is cool. Like I said, I really like that red contrast there, that bloody red color, and I want to just put this one on because that looks sick. Oh yeah, look at that bad boy. That is an awesome contrast in colors. I like the red against the black and the silver. Really cool, and I really like those. The thumb pads feel pretty good, actually. Um, pretty well gripped for an aftermarket thumb pad. Um, you know, sometimes with aftermarket parts, you never get the actual same quality, but uh, this one feels pretty good. Um, and of course, you know, you've got the, the back triggers here. I really like that red. That red looks awesome against this. Um, well, sweet. 
Uh, again, guys, these are these are aftermarket parts. They're not needed uh, for your controllers, but if you want to add a little style to them, a little style splash, uh, by all means, check them out. Um, and this is a, actually a, a less expensive way to get the, the Gears of War ver version of the Elite controller. However, the Gears of War version of the Elite controller, I believe, has Bluetooth internal, like the new... Um, like the new uh, Xbox One S controller like this one here has the Bluetooth in, in it. I think the new um, Gears of War version has that as well. But this is a cheaper alternative if you already have uh, an Xbox One Elite controller to put some Gears of War funk to it. Uh, I really think that style is really neat. I like how that red contrasts against that black. Well guys, that's it for me. Um, Thanks a lot for watching. Please come back and check in with me later on. Uh, don't forget to comment, subscribe to the channel, um, and check out my other channels, guys. See what we got there. Thanks again for joining me so much. This has been The Curious Consumer signing off. I'll check you out in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.